What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, somebody sent me their PC. They want it upgraded. We got another ultimate console in the making. 42 terabyte hyperspin build. Definitely off the bat, excuse my appearance. Yes, I'm in PJs. This is about maybe 1.30 in the morning right now. I got this package today. I do want to unbox it. I always like to unbox anything I get from a customer on camera this way. They kind of see how it was in shipping and they don't blame me if anything's broken and all that. So giving a quick background on this one, customer by the name of Lewis saw my video on YouTube way back and I do have to make an update and I plan to do it with this. That's why I'm filming this specific build. He saw my 2020 hyperspin drive and he saw the whole no, bitch, no bullshit, no filler stuff on and he goes, hey Vic, I want that, you know, can you configure my PC for that? I said, yep, gave him the rundown and sure enough, he sent me the PC. I do these a lot. I really don't film too many hyperspin builds because honestly, they are very time consuming and I'm the type of person I would rather give you your PC build faster than me shooting a video and going over everything I'd rather you do it because honestly, like this right here, the size of this, you're looking at at least about, I would say, a month. I'm expect, I'm trying to get it more, you know, less time consuming or take less time on it. But as you know me, I do like to make sure everything is perfect, configured. I do launch all my PC games in hyperspin to make sure there's no errors. There is a lot of stuff when it comes to PC hyperspin stuff. So that's why it does take some time. All the customers, they do understand it, they do love it, that I do take the time to make sure everything works. Again, I'm very picky with that, so that's why you haven't really seen too many hyperspin videos, but I'm taking this one because this honestly is the last one in the queue. I don't have one lined up yet until somebody gets these videos and all that, but that's why I'm shooting this video because I got some time. So now, keep in mind, I do have two different options. I personally have an option where I will make or I will purchase a pre-built PC, which right now, Micro Center, the pre-built are much cheaper than building my own PC. So usually I do offer a price where I will give you everything. Four Xbox controllers, a current gen PC. I always aim for i7, 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte M.2 SSD. And right now with this gen, it's either a 3060 or higher graphics card, depending on the deal that I get. So that, I get a lot of people that email me that. Once they hear the price, it's kind of like a, whoa, Vic, you kind of hit me with a left hook. I understand, but that is what it costs. I do have another price where some people, for example, Lewis here, he sent me his PC. He actually built this PC or his friend built it. It's a brand new PC, it's probably about a month old. He wanted basically the ultimate console. I accept you giving me your PC. You do have to send me your PC. I do not make pre-configured drives because it is never plug and play. I would rather physically have your PC in my hand, configure it, this way I know that once you get it, I know it works. I don't have to worry about team viewing in and did you make sure that the D drive is the D drive and it's not the E drive? I don't deal with that. That's why I personally would rather have the actual PC in my hand. And remember, when you are looking at these drives, nothing, and I've always said it in all my videos for years, nothing is ever plug and play. It's it's no such thing. There is no such thing. There's no easy way to do it. I personally would rather make sure that this is completely configured. I've tested it. I've given it the Vic VP seal of approval, and then I will mail it out to you. So yes, you could send me your PC, but please keep in mind that you do have to give me a good PC. Emulation like PS3, Xbox 360, even the Switch, you do need current gen stuff. You might be able to run it on a Dell Optiplex with the 1050 Ti, I personally have a 1050 Ti on my test bench. It doesn't work. You might say it does, that's great, I don't care. But for me personally, to give you the best performance that I know works, it has to be current gen stuff. If your PC didn't cost at least 900 bucks, I'm sorry, it's not gonna work. I know I'm gonna get flamed in the comments, oh, but my PC costs 800 bucks. I wanna hear it, you need current gen stuff. You might be able to get away with even my personal ultimate console, which I've made in 2020 is still amazing. That's running a 2070 in it. So again, hardware matters. You're paying, there's a reason why these computers are expensive. The performance on them is what matters. You try to compare this, the, the computer that this customer sent me, 
it's up there. This is running a 3070 from what he told me. I'm going to unbox it and everything. This is peak performance builds. It, it basically separates your $200 Optiplex to a $1,200 PC. So again, yes, you could send me your PC. I will tell you my, which I just said, I will always tell you my suggested specs. You could take it or leave it. If you send me a PC with an i3 in it and you want to play PS3, I'm telling you right now, don't even bother. It's, it's not going to work. But I'm going to go more videos with Hyperspin. Again, I'm building my four-player personal cabinet after the comic book one goes out. There's going to be a lot more Hyperspin videos because I get a lot of people that see the 2020 video that I made and it's not really been too much Hyperspin activity. Again, I've been doing Hyperspin. It's just the people that send me the emails and the stuff that I get, I'm the type where I'd rather get the PC, configure it, and send it out as fast as possible because, again, shooting a video, yes, it does get me more customers, but I'd rather have you play your system and not wait you know, more than a month to get it. On that note, let's unbox this thing. So again, customer messaged me. I asked him what his specs were. He didn't know every single detail. He said that his friend built the PC for him. That's perfectly fine. I said, you know, what process are you running? How many gigs of RAM and all that. So I'm not too sure if he has a one terabyte um, SSD as his boot drive. I don't think he did. But basically as our email conversation goes, I was basically telling him all the components he has to get. So he purchased everything. He's the one that bought 12 terabyte hard drives. Instead of me buying it and adding it to the price, he went out and bought it on his own, okay? So right off the bat, I got one, I got two. There essentially should be three 12 terabyte drives in this. Again, I only cut the box open. I didn't actually unbox this just yet. But yes, he sent me I mean, I see two right now. I'm pretty sure there's another one on the side, but we do have Iron Wolf NAS 12 terabyte hard drives. These are HDD's hard drives. Um, these are the spinning ones, and I always suggest that you do get the 72,000 RPM hard drive. So as of right now, I see two. I'm pretty sure that there's more than this. We're gonna go through it. He did go out and get a one terabyte M.2 SSD, which I always suggest for the boot. I put Windows boot on this and the main hyperspin and emulators on this. That's how I roll. So I'm glad that he did that because he wasn't sure what his friend did. I see the PC, I see glass, it didn't break, so that's a good thing. Um, I believe he gave me Xbox 360 controllers um, or Xbox One. Again, we're gonna go slow. I'm gonna try to keep the styrofoam in it. Um, another thing that he did send me, which I'm not sure if we needed this, but he bought it anyway. This is the USB dongle for Xbox One controllers. I believe also possibly you could connect Xbox 360 controllers. I always suggest the dongles. I don't ever connect my Xbox controllers via Bluetooth directly to the motherboard. I don't do that because I believe you can only connect two Xbox controllers, but then it gets confusing, like the system gets confused. This right here says you can connect up to eight. Xbox controls with one dongle. That's why I suggest the dongle and honestly the connectivity to the dongle is way better than motherboard Bluetooth And yes, here we go. So this is the third 12 terabyte drive. So we have right now 36 terabytes in our hand with the one terabyte 37 and the extra one I believe there's one terabyte in the PC already look at it on 38 and no, I'm sorry, he bought four. There are four 12 terabyte drives on this. Cool, awesome, he's got four 12 terabytes. If you see my videos when I talk about terabytes and drives, you do not really get 12 terabytes. You probably get about 10.9 terabytes with this. So figure right now you're at about 42 terabytes. That's what it is. Um, I'm hoping he sent me the controllers because I do need the Xbox controllers. Again, I'm the type that I do want every single piece. He's got another Xbox dongle, I'm not too sure why. And I see the PC, so we're gonna take the PC out. I'm gonna put it up here. Damn, big computer. And we got the PC. <laughs> this is a big case for this PC. Holy crap. Why is the case so big? <laughs> it's a big case. At least the biggest thing is that it didn't break. I was, you know, anytime you get glass, 
I'm always kind of worried about in transit. It was packaged fairly well, um, but yes, it is intact. We are A-OK. -okay. We don't have to worry about anything here. All right, so PC looks great. I didn't boot it up, but he is missing the controllers. Um, I always suggest I need your stuff. He definitely has no controllers here. And he did not send me the power plug to the PC. Luckily I have, but this is why I filmed this. This is exactly why I filmed this. So he doesn't tell me, hey, where's my power plug? You didn't send me the power plug. So we're right now gonna take a look at it. It seems okay. I'm not sure who built it. The, the graphics card, the plate on the back should be better aligned. But I'm not gonna go into it. I right now, there is no M.2 currently on this. So he probably has a hard drive somewhere hidden. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go in deeper. I won't waste your time on video, but at least it is here. And uh, that's the main important thing. No glass broken, which is great. I will message him because again, I have no controllers. I do like, I, like I said, he even said that he was gonna do Wiimotes. I, I believe he said he was gonna do Wiimotes. I gotta take a look at our, our emails. But uh, this is what I always say. I, I always, when you email me, I tell you, listen, I need everything. Right now, if I was gonna do this with my Xbox controllers, he's gonna get it in the mail. And Vic, my Xbox controller doesn't connect. Yes, because you gotta sync it with this. Again, I get it. I'm not trying to make fun of anybody, but people, I get commissioned, so make sure that this, once you get it, you plug it in, you can you turn on the controller and it works, but you do have to send me everything. I always just need everything. So let me message the customer, make sure he knows everything that's happening. You'll see more videos on this. We got, again, Lewis's 42 terabyte ultimate console. It is a big case, damn. All right, guys, real quick, closing remarks. It is late, I messaged the customer. We have a little bit of an issue. Um, the case is gorgeous. It's big. It's a big case and shockingly, sadly and shockingly, this only has space for two hard drives. He has a one terabyte hard drive in this. We're adding four. Luckily there is space for one here, but the other three, it's gonna, they're gonna have to go along the bottom. And the other thing is I messaged him. I tried to put the M.2 SSD in and the motherboard, I'm missing SATA cables and I'm also missing the little peg stand with the little screw for the M.2 to sit properly. So we're gonna have to message the customer and let him know uh, I'm surprised that this case only holds two hard drives. The only thing that we could do is I have to put three hard drives on the bottom a little rough on this one but that's part of it customer sends me their stuff i wish it was flawless and i wish it was that easy but i will check it out i was also looking at this random cables again i'm not sure who built this but there's pins that are unhooked i have yet to boot this but right now i was planning to put the m.2 ssd in and swap out his Windows boot drive. Uh, I feel so bad because whoever built this for him, they went all out with the PC and he's running a, a, a regular hard drive, not even M.2 on this. It's all right, I'll be able to help him out.